In this video, I want to show you how to get the t-shirt pattern project started. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new file. And we'll call it t-shirt patterns with my name. And we'll just use this as a uh, standard letter size. And right now it's in landscape. That'll be fine. So click OK. Nothing too complicated here. And I want to go ahead and place the templates into this file. So we'll go to File, Place. And I'll just navigate back to the folder where I'd saved those images in the previous video. And we'll just start with the t-shirt template. Now you're allowed to use either one, either the t-shirt template or the women's tank top, top template. Um, there are, either one of those is fine. It's up to you. It's, it's your preference. So I'm just going to start with the t-shirt template and click place. And this is a pretty small image. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just pressing control plus. And basically I just want to do an, a quick image trace on this. So we'll go to window, pull up the image trace panel. Click the preview button. Let's just drag this out of the way so we can see what's going on a little better. And we do. I do need to adjust this, adjust the threshold a bit. Looking pretty good. We'll go a little bit more, and that looks pretty good. Maybe back down a little bit more. There we go. And if you recall, as far as the last step in doing an image trace is to remember to expand it. And now I have this expanded version, a vector version of the t-shirt template. So I do want to resize this a bit. So it fills where my artboard. Now I can do that without distorting the image too much. So that's looking pretty good. I can always adjust that later to get it fitting perfectly on my artboard if I choose to. All right, from here, I would make it a live paint group. So go to Object, Live Paint, and Make. All right, and that's the beginning steps for the pattern project, opening up the file in Illustrator or placing it in Illustrator and converting it to a live paint group. In the next video, I'll show you how to start creating the patterns and how to apply those patterns to the template.